What's up everybody, it's Matt from TDM Style here. Welcome back to the channel once again. And this week we're taking a look at not one, not two, not even three, but four. It's a lot. Four new products. This is the entire new texture lineup from the Mailroom Barbers. So we got a lot to crack into today, so let's not waste any time. Let's crack straight into a bitch and get started. I just said, I, I said crack into it too many times in that sense. Whatever, you get the idea. <laughs> So happy July 4th to all my fellow Americans. You know, today is Independence Day, so you know what that means. America, fuck yeah. So real quick background on the Mailroom Barber. They are a company from here in the US. They're down in South Carolina and they are, as the name implies, a bunch of professional barbers, hairstylists, cosmetologists, the whole, the whole nine yards. Um, and basically their whole thing is to create 100% ethically sourced uh, products using both ethically sourced ingredients as well as the packaging. Um, a lot of their stuff is plant-based as well, so I know that uh, a lot of, especially a lot of the homebrew uh, folks out there who enjoy that sort of thing, um, this is gonna be right up your street. Now, uh, they've had some other products before that I haven't tried, um, but uh, the owner, Robert, reached out to me uh, a while ago, so this whole new texture lineup, we got four products that dropped uh, around the end of May, so I'm a little bit late to review these, but you know how life goes. But so here we are, we're gonna we're gonna get into things. Which I already I said that before, but now this we're really gonna do it this time. So for our four products, we have the texture salt spray, the conditioning pre-styler, which now if you look at the website now, this is just called the texture cream, and it actually comes in a jar instead of this. This is it looks like a spray bottle, but it's more I would call it more of like a squirt bottle that sounds weird but you'll see what i mean later then we have their medium hold matte clay paste and last but certainly not least we have their styling powder so let's take a quick look and run through the packaging and pricing on all these now as far as the packaging is concerned every single one of these regardless of the type of bottle or jar or its shape they're all they all share some similarities in that they're all this nice amber glass that's that ain't plastic. We got uh, black hardware, black plastic. You know, we got obviously a spritz top on the salt spray. Uh, but regardless of that, the spray, the texture cream, and the matte clay paste are all 3.4 ounce size uh, jars slash bottles. And each one of these will run you $23 US. They also do the subscribe and save thing. If you wanted to do that, it'll knock a couple bucks off. And the styling powder comes in a three ounce jar, which, or jar? Bottle. Bottle. Uh, uh, which I actually quite like because I find most like hair powders um, come in like really fucking small, about like like half an ounce, maybe one ounce or so. So having three ounces of this, um, and by the way, the price on this one is sixteen dollars U.S. Um, I think that's a great bang for your buck, honestly. But yeah, as far as the look of the packaging itself, and you know, like I said, everything they're they're doing ethical sourcing for all their stuff. I like. I'm a sucker for glass packaging. Um, I like the like the amber glass with the black hardware on it. You know, matte black labeling with kind of this like this kind of off white and goldish uh, fonts and things. Um, I just think it looks really clean. It definitely looks like something you would see on the shelf in a nice barber shop. Now we can talk about everybody's favorite category. That is a heavy jar. Don't drop that on your bare foot. Um, so the scent on all four of these is called their redwood scent, which is uh, meant to be a very like cedar forward, just kind of woodsy, clean. So it's time to nose in. Planks. Mm. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's cedar. You definitely get, um, I feel like a bit of lime in there, perhaps. There's also tea tree oil in, uh, I think, a number of these. So you get, like, tea tree oil just has that kind of, like, minty-ish. They're not mint, like, it's not, they're, don't worry, it's not like toothpaste or anything. It's definitely, you get the cedar first, but it is very clean, a little bit citrusy, it's very light, so you'll smell it as you, you know, get it into the hands and stuff, but once you've got it into the hair, it pretty much disappears, so it's not gonna clash with any, you know, fragrance that you might be wearing. Okay. Now, quickly through the ingredients, we'll start with the matte clay paste since I have that one in my hand. Uh, so this is a water-based product. Now the matte clay paste, they're calling this a medium hold and high texture product, which is like 
straight up my street. Honestly, when <laughs> when Robert sent me the email, he's like, hey, you wanna try our texture lineup? I see texture and I'm like, fuck yeah. Yes. So yeah, water-based. Uh, in the second spot, we have aloe leaf juice as well. Then we got our best boy coming in. Mr. Kale and Clay, followed by Candelilla Sarah with a candelilla wax. Um, we've got shea butter in there, emulsifying wax, castor seed oil, carnauba wax. We got weed. We got cannabis seed oil, um, jojoba oil, fragrance, uh, tea tree oil, Sea salt, a little bit of sea salt in there at the end, uh, and some preservative. So yeah, uh, on paper, straight away, this sounds like something that's gonna be just, just fucking me up. On the texture salt spray, this one is, they're calling it a tacky hold and gritty texture. This one is just aloe leaf juice based. And uh, then we've got some witch hazel in there, sea salt as you might expect. And then our best boy once again, Kaylin Clay is back. Got some arrowroot powder in there and then uh, tea tree leaf oil and preservatives as well. Now on the texture cream conditioning pre-styler, which sounds, again, sounds like it's gonna be straight up my fucking street because you know, that I like my conditioning pre-stylers. Uh, this one just says tacky hold on it. This one, so this is also water-based, and then we've got things like shea butter, candelilla wax again, rice bran wax, emulsifying wax, coconut oil, kale and clay coming in again. Three for three, castor seed oil, hemp seed oil once again, tea tree leaf oil preservatives. So we're seeing a pattern here, right? Which is good, that means their formulas are consistent in a way. Uh, and finally, on the styling powder. This one, obviously, is not gonna be water-based because it's well, it's a powder. <laughs> so we have arrowroot powder in the first spot, and then we've got both kaolin and bentonite clay this time. Uh, essential oils for fragrance and tea tree leaf oil. So there you go. I almost just, that was, I'm just gonna put that down. All right, now I do have demo footage for all of these. Um, and so one thing that I do wanna mention, they do of course, if you look on the website or on the packaging itself, it does, oh no, that took me by surprise. Um, each one does give you, you know, a rundown of what it's meant to do when your kind of best uh, option to use it is. Uh, so we're gonna start out with the conditioning pre-styler because that was the first one that I tried. Um, cause I just see that and I'm like, well, yeah, fuck yeah, that's what I need to use that first. So this one does say, uh, apply to damp hair before blow drying, uh, as it's, has a heat protectant in there as well, uh, as the, of course, conditioning and texturizing. Uh, so apply to damp hair before blow drying to protect from heat damage and enhance the use of other products, which I like, cause that, well, I mean, that's, that's the idea behind a pre-styler, but, you know. Yeah, uh, for curly hair, you can allow your hair to air dry or use a diffuser or just for, you know, more standard, like what I would be doing, just blow that bitch out. So we're starting out this first demo with freshly washed hair that is obviously still damp. And now with this, um, I found that three little spurts, which if you get the jar form, it, I would equate that to basically a slightly less than a dime sized amount of product. You do not need a lot here. Uh, so definitely you'll have to experiment with this a little bit because I found for me that if I went too heavy handed with this and I used like a shitload of it, it was a little bit too conditioning and then my hair was feel, felt a little bit oily. Um, so you don't need much, just start small. And basically it just feels like a lotion. So you're just gonna work that into the hair. I like to comb it through to make sure it's evenly distributed. And then we're gonna blow dry a bitch. And here are our final results with that. Yes, let's go. We got some conditioning going on for sure. Uh, we've got some nice texture set up and I will say that my hair is feeling nice and light. It's silky, it's under control. So it definitely, this is, you know, as far as the pre-styler that I tend to like to use, this is, straight up my street. It does everything that I needed to do to get my hair ready for a, you know, post-styling product. Um, the only thing that I'll say on this one, they say tacky hold on here. I don't find it has any tackiness whatsoever. I found it to be very smooth, very slick, just silky, easy to use. Um, I mean, it definitely sets you up with a base for your style, as I mentioned, but I, for me, I don't find much hold in this thing, but that's, I don't, I don't really care or that's not really an issue for me because I'm in it for the conditioning and the smoothing and the whole thing anyway. So um, it doesn't upset me that I didn't get a lot of hold out of this. Next, let's take a look at the matte clay paste. Did I say that right? Yes, I did. Now this one actually, I realized after the fact, uh, after using this a few times that this also says uh, that you can apply this to damp hair before blow drying. It basically tells you to put some into damp, blow dry it, and then your hair will kind of be in the shape you want. And then you can add a little bit more to finish it off. Um, so I, full disclosure, I didn't do that. I just started with the conditioning pre-styler and then I added the matte clay paste. 
on top of that. So this demo footage here, this is right after we finished the uh, conditioning pre-styler texture cream. And then we're going in with about a dime size scoop of the matte clay paste. Now, so this is medium hold high texture, which is like, <clears throat> that is exactly what I want in a hair product. I am a medium hold man. So yeah, it is thick in the jar. I mean, scooping this out and getting it in the hands, I mean, it feels like what you would expect a matte paste to feel like. I mean, it's, you know, it's smooth and it's soft, but it's got some, it's got some thickness to it, you know, but once you break it down into the hands, it breaks down very smoothly. It does look a little bit choppy in the fingers, but it's really not. Once you get it going into the hair, there's no problems with that at all. Um, actually, I found it to be very smooth to apply also. There was definitely, you could feel the, the tack of the waxes and stuff, but it's not tuggy, pulley, you know, shitty. Um, it's very user-friendly, it's easy to get in there and get your style into shape very quickly. So here we are with a final style here, and yeah, this is, this is like my, this is my shit. Um, I mean, it's, it's exactly what I tend to look for. It's got nice texture, it's got a, you know, matte to natural looking shine, like it didn't take the natural shine of my hair away from using that conditioning pre-styler, um, so it's not like dry matte. And as far as endurance, this is eight hours later at the end of the day, so yeah, I mean, it's a medium, so you can see your typical medium um, wear and tear, you know, it, it just, it looks very natural, but it, obviously it stays very pliable and soft, so you can easily, you know, move it around, get your fingers in, tussle it, whatever you want to do, it's gonna look good. All right, now we have the powder and the texture salt spray left to go. And these, we're gonna kind of flip flop between these two for the demos and you'll see why. Uh, so here we go. So I'm gonna start out with the first demo of the texture powder here. Now, uh, this is something I'm gonna actually, I'm planning to do a video on texture powders in general lately because I've been really getting into them and I feel like they're very underrated. But anyway, um, so they mention on their website and stuff that this, you know, ideally is used after uh, some kind of texturizing pre-styler like the salt spray or the texture cream conditioning pre-styler um, just to maximize your potential of, of texture. And so the first demo here is actually day two after I had used the texture cream and the matte clay paste. So you can see the next day my hair is looking a little bit on the oily side. So in this use scenario, um, basically I'm using the texture powder as a dry shampoo that just has the added benefit of additional texture as well. So, I mean, you, you can use this pretty generously. Um, basically, I like to try to separate the hair and get it into the roots first, and then just sprinkle a little more of the top and then just tussle your hands through. It works really well if you use like a uh, paddle brush to get it through the hair afterward. That just kind of helps you know, evenly disperse everything and helps to absorb that excess oil that you might have going on. So here's a look at that final style. I mean, yeah, it basically just, if your hair is looking a little bit a little bit oily, but you don't really want to wash it yet. This is a great like pick me up. Now in the second demo, now we're going to bounce around because now we're going to talk about the sea salt spray that I'm going to use first. So starting out with that, we're going in here with freshly washed damp hair. And now they do tell you to use a generous amount of this. So I went in with five spritzes, um, just kind of precautionary because with me, sea salt sprays can, if I if I use them really too generously, they can end up being a bit too dry. Um, I should also mention, I in that in this particular use case, I did. I'm saying that a lot. Use case, weird science. In this particular scenario, I used a little bit of 25 spray first in the damp hair. That's typically what I do as a baseline for any product I use ever. That just that shit goes in first, um, except when I use the conditioning texture cream here because I wasn't sure if it would be too much, which I think it would have been if I used those both together. Anyway, so five spritzes of the sea salt spray in, and then we blue dry, blow, blue. We're gonna blow dry, bitch. Well, we did. Uh, and here's the final results there. So yeah, I mean, it looks like a sea salt spray should make your hair look. It's thickened, it's got that grittiness to it, but it allows my hair to still look natural. We've got some big volume worked in. We've got some nice texture starting. And of course, if you wanted to really go beachy vibe, you could just spray this in to damp hair and then scrunch it and then let it air dry if you wanted to do like beach waves and stuff. But yeah, so I mean, as a sea salt texture spray, I, it does exactly what it's supposed to do and it wasn't too drying. I think if I hadn't used any 25 first, or if I went in like really heavy handed, it might've been a little bit 
too gritty for me at that point because it you can definitely feel it but it's nice it feels nice and smooth and so even though it is plumping my hair and typically for me that leads to like tangliness it is, there was no tangliness here uh, after that demo i decided to give the texture powder a try to or let it shine kind of on its not as a dry shampoo so <laughs> In the second demo for that, we're starting out with the sea salt spritzed hair, and then we're just going in with a generous amount of texture powder, and yeah, final results there, it looks pretty damn good. Um, this is definitely more of a light to maybe bordering on light medium hold, um, but it's just extremely lightweight. The hair feels very bouncy. It helps to keep that volume in from the sea salt spray. So if you wanted to go with like a very natural, flowy, bouncy look, but just have some amazing texture and control, yeah, those two are a dream team. And as far as the washout on all of these, it's very simple. They're they're all, well, except for the powder, they're all water-based um, and they all wash out very easily. Even with the matte clay paste, maybe you might need to touch a shampoo, but no big deal. I mean, that's most things, but no, no craziness there. They do all come out very easily. So yeah, final, geez, final thoughts on the new texture line from Mailroom Barber. These are great. They're all, every single one of them is pretty fucking stellar. Um, I have been big into the powder. I've been loving the clay paste. I mean, they're based, I, I just love like a medium flowy hairstyle with big texture and these, it, they just do exactly that. I really like the conditioning pre-styler. Um, just like I said before, just don't go too heavy handed because then it can get a little bit oily. And I like the texture spray also. Like I said, like it's not too drying like most sea salt sprays are for me. Um, it just works really well. And it definitely, if you want to like really mega bump up the texture, combining this with like the powder or the clay is just magical. So yeah, Mailroom Barber making good shit. I like the ethical sourcing, you know, that's it's nice to um, to know that people care about that. And actually I even, I just noticed, I didn't notice this before, but let's see, that's two, three, is it on all four? All four of these have a 24 month um, expiration period. Most hair products are 12, some are six. So two years you can, after you open these, they're good for two years. Shelf life, that's, I didn't mean expiration ran. Shelf life is the actual term that I should have used. But yeah, that wraps things up for today's video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this and found it helpful. So I think I'm gonna be doing a, a continuing my Bloodborne stream countdown to Elden Ring later today on the Kale and King channel, probably sometime this evening, I don't know. Um, so feel free to pop on by for that and hang out for a little while, have a couple beers with me while I die a lot in Bloodborne. And of course, please stay tuned to this channel. We got plenty of new stuff coming up. So if you haven't already, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below to keep up to date with everything. And as always, thank you guys so much for coming by and watching. And we'll see you at the next one.